Hello and welcome to the Children's Zoo in the Houston Zoo. My name is Lisa and we are here to talk to you a little bit about bats and bat week. So we are going to go into our cave and we're going to take a really hard look at our um, bat species, the Seba's short tail bat. And we have about 38 of them in there. So come on with me and let's go look, take a look. Um, when we go in here, it's, it's pretty dark, it's pretty dim, but that's actually what these bats prefer. So we're gonna go take a look at them. Um, they are the only flying mammal bats are, and there are so many different species of them throughout the world. Here at the Houston Zoo, like I said, we have uh, Seba short-tailed short bats. And when you look pretty hard into this cave exhibit, you can kind of see they're huddled together. Um, they are a very social species, so you'll often see them uh, kind of clustered in one spot. And when you look throughout this exhibit, you'll see um, kind of so many little nooks and crannies. You'll also see forms of enrichment for them. So these bats are omnivorous in the wild, but here they're mostly frugivorous, which just means they eat lots of fruit. And so we offer them a variety of different uh, food items. So you can kind of see on this little skewer up here, yesterday I put a, a large cantaloupe on, onto that and they have spent the entire night just kind of picking away at it and chewing it. Um, and they really like stuff like that. So since they are fruit eaters, they have really high metabolisms. So um, when you see them, they kind of twitch around a little bit. They have to fly around. So that, that is the reason they have such a high metabolism. They have to kind of burn off all of that um, high sugar, high energy that they have um, to eat there. And we offer them a variety of different um, high sugar uh, food items. So we give them kind of, we give them nectar, sometimes jellies. Um, we'll offer them just a wide variety of things. We also give them a supplement, which kind of, um, well, rounds out their diet because they are not getting some of the things that they would be in the wild. So we wanna make sure that they are healthy and thriving in this exhibit. And uh, so when we talk about bats, uh, people, People don't know a whole lot about them. There is this heavy stigma there um, growing up around here in Houston. Maybe we've heard some not so nice things about them, but in fact, they are an ally to us. They are very, very important pollinators. And uh, if you have a garden at home, they actually will come around and pollinate your garden and, and be around you. They're very elusive animals, so you might not see them all around, but um, they do, in fact, kind of hide in little nooks and crannies all over the city of Houston. Uh, there are 11 species here in the Houston area. And um, like I said, they're great pollinators. They go from flower to flower. They eat the nectar. Another, another thing that these guys do, the, especially the ones that live in our area, is they eat insects. So those insects, we, we actually have uh, you know, less mosquitoes because of that. Thank you so much for being here, uh, for celebrating Bat Week with us at the Houston Zoo. We hope to see you soon.